David Icke. I mean, there's rumors that David Icke has, has now run off to become the towel boy for the Dallas Cowboys. Following the humiliating defeat by the Washington Redskins, um, he's actually had to go into hiding. So um, I, I think he's actually been on the road with them now for at least three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I'm being David today. Um, we haven't seen David now for about seven months. We've gone through the worrying uh, period. Now we just kind of, I think we're in denial. Um, every day I man the phones. Uh, I've got a slot from like 10 till 2. Jamie comes in in the morning to do the 7 till 10. And Trisha and Grace are on the night slot in the evening, like 2 till 4 in the morning. I don't know, I think he's anorexic, schizoid, something. So he's locked up in an asylum in LA. And he, he tries to write things which aren't very interesting or good uh, but it's best for him now to stay with his uh, his arms wrapped firmly around his back and tied up while he refuses to ingest anything through his mouth. I also heard that he's withering away in some cave um, you know castaway style trying to get all skinny on some crazy new diet drug probably. David get out of LA it is screwing with your head. Oh this is Edward James almost. No, production's going great, thank you very much. Yeah, you can contact me on this number. Like I was saying, I manned the phones uh, during the morning. Jamie did the slot before me. Trisha and Grace are doing the, uh, the evening slot. And that way, uh, we can keep under wraps the fact that, uh, yeah, very unusual that something like David should be gone so long. I, I don't know what it was exactly that David did when he was up here on set, but they seemed to do just fine without him doing it. Sorry, Ike? Executive producer. Executive producer. Ike. Ike. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, Ike. Um, was he, did, was he craft service? Uh, who, who was it again? You were talking about? David Ike. David Ike. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've heard of David Ike. Yeah, I, I think one time I saw him running through the set or... Uh, but I, yeah, I've never, I, uh, yeah, I don't actually even know what he looks like. So. He actually stepped over me when I was laying on the ground, uh, passed out, and uh, he figuratively and literally stepped right over me. Um, hi, it's Mary McDonald, Battle Star Production Office. Uh huh. No, everything is going fine. David is just out um, getting his laundry. Thank you. Um, meanwhile, we're all up here, so many loose ends. He doesn't even know what's happening with the show. We've killed off like half the silence. He doesn't even know. We don't really care anymore, you know? We're trying to see what else we can blow up to get him to come back. He doesn't notice. We're gonna kidnap his kids next. Oh yeah, you know, you can relax. No smart ass remarks from behind the, the uh, video camera all the time. It's painful, actually, the things he says. He just sends his little minions to come check on us, make sure we're not spending too much money on things like taking care of the actors, I like making that. sure they're warm and comfortable. Yeah, making sure we're it's warm. It's freezing I know. here. I have a heat, look it, look it. I bet you he's in Hawaii and I'm wearing a heat hat on my back. Hello, James Callis. I'm the, um... Who is this? Well, I don't know, I just... I wish I would call. I don't get to see him anymore. Every once in a while I see him and it's brief. He's on set, he comes in for a read through every once in a while, but it's been a long time. David? David? I'm doing the blog right now, where are you? I had several people think I was David as I, as I showed up because we haven't had any of the executive producers, haven't been on, on set for a while. And the kids have been free to play. What? What do you mean? Oh my god. So we're all feeling good about ourselves actually. Because the guy was a waste of space. Or oh, he had too much space that he was wasting. Yeah. Um, we all know Ron Moore's the brains behind the show anyway, so Mike's no great loss. Stay right there, Dave. My other phone is going. No, I've got this. I've got this. I'll take down your number in one second. You stay right there. I can't believe it, I can't believe it. I can't tell you how amazing it is to speak to you. Oh, when everybody knows what... One second, David, one second. Hello? Ron! Hi. Hi, how are you? Yet no word from David. 
No. God, I, I was thinking about maybe... Um...